Chapter 6 Ready, Set, Action The sun is shining when kids start showing up at our house on Saturday morning. The garage looks great and Tata has the camera set up in the driveway ready to film. Juju and I made him a megaphone out of construction paper that says El Director. Then we made one for Juju that reads The Boss. Mom and Dad are outside talking to the parents and inviting them to stay and watch. Miss Cruz helps us get the instruments ready and Juju explains how everything will work. She has a clipboard and looks very professional. She's even marked places for kids to stand with masking tape on the floor of the garage. Finally, it's time. Ready, set, action. Tata says into his megaphone and he starts filming. Welcome to the first ever episode of Sarai's Garage Chat with your host, me, Sarai Gonzalez, and featuring the Glitter Girls, I say. And on cue, Josie and Lucia run across the stage, throwing handfuls of confetti in the air. They are dressed in matching tutus with their hair in pigtails with ribbons. We are filming a special episode today because frankly, people, we have a crisis. I say, looking straight in the camera. Our school district right here in New Jersey is about to cut funding to all our elementary music programs. I've invited several of our school band members to explain why that's not a good idea. Let's start with our drummer, Aji. Let me throw some facts on you, Aji says, tapping his cymbals to make his point. Students who study music do better in math, reading, and writing than those who don't study music. Let's hear from our clarinet player, Kayla. What are your thoughts? I ask. Kids involved with the arts are less likely to drop out of school. She says, reading from the cue card Javier is holding. Let's ask our bass drummer what she thinks. I say, Ellie? Kids who play musical instruments have higher self-esteem than those who don't, Ellie says, and then spins around in a circle, ending with a few taps on her drums. She got a lot of flair. Wow, I say. I think the evidence is in. School music programs are important. That's why we are asking everyone watching to come to our concert on Friday in the Martin Luther King Jr. gym. Donate if you can, or just come and enjoy and write a letter to the district in support of school music programs. And we are going to give you a preview of one of the songs we're going to perform, Glitter and Gleam by Sparkle Sanchez. Did you know that she participated in school music programs in Bronx when she was growing up? I turned to Valeria. You never know who the next musical superstar will be, Valeria says, going off script and flipping her hair. So support music education in our schools. Thanks, Valeria, I say. And at our school, everyone is a star. And now it's time for our cover song. Ready? Hit it. We sound great. We do our big finish and end with the drums pounding, the cymbals smashing, and everyone cheering. I look straight at the camera and say, Thank you for watching this episode of Sarai's Garage Chat. Remember, music is for everyone. Support music in New Jersey schools. And then Lucia and Josie run toward the camera and throw sparkly confetti at it. Cut! Says Tata. 
That's a rap. He sounds like a real director. We all cheer. And Miss Cruz cheers the loudest. Valeria even compliments Josie and Lucia on their glitter girl costumes. I can hardly believe it. That was amazing, Miss Cruz says. Your best performance yet. My parents make sure we have everyone's parents' permission to post the video online. The kids in my class leave, and then Tata, Juju, and I spend the rest of the day editing it to look really cool. We even have a link to our school's fundraising page. It takes a long time, and mom and dad insist we take a break for dinner. Later on, Mama Rossi calls and asks where Tata is. He gets on the phone to say, Hola amor, I'll be home in an hour. I'm helping our granddaughter save the world again. After he hangs up, I run over to him and give him a big hug. Finally, we uploaded a video to the internet. I asked my parents to share it online with the PTA, family, friends, neighbors, Miss Cruz, and anyone else they think of. We need to get the word out and fast. I'm going to share with everyone I know, I say, and I make sure my friends at school do too. Then, a couple of days later, something extraordinary happens. When I get to school, Audrey and Christina run up to me and both talk at once. You won't believe what's happening, Audrey says. The video is everywhere, Christina says, in the loudest voice I've ever heard her use. You've seen it? I ask. In like three places, Audrey says, my parents got it on school list serve. And my abuelita called and said it was shared on her church's Facebook page. The teenager who lives next door to me showed it to me on his iPhone. Someone had forwarded him. Our next door neighbor stopped me when I was walking wolf to say she's seen it and told me that she supports what we kids are doing, Christina says. My neighbor also said she forwarded the video to Mayor. Who she knows personally. That's awesome, I say. Now maybe we'll get more people to come to our concert and donate to the music program. Sarai, I hear a voice say. I need to talk with you. I turn around and it is Principal Harris. Am I in trouble? No, she smiles quite the opposite. I just wanted you to know that a local news crew is coming today to interview Miss Cruz about our music program and the video you and the kids made. I, I don't understand, I say. Why do they want to do a story about us? Because, Aja says, we've been trying to tell you. You've gone viral! We've gone viral! There's been so much interest in our music program, thanks to the video that the local news he asked Miss Cruz to come on to talk about it, says Principal Harris. My head spinning. Later that afternoon, Miss Cruz walks into our classroom. How did the interview go, Miss Cruz? Audrey asked. What's happening with the music program? I follow up. Are we going to be famous? Valeria asks. Students, Miss Chris says excitedly. I have a good news. The reporter told me that the superintendent of schools made a positive statement supporting the arts, so that's a good sign. We all start cheering and clapping. Nothing final has been decided, so don't get too excited. And I hate to cut the celebration short, Miss Cruz says. But we need to practice. We need to be our best at the concert next Friday. 
the community is expecting us to make them proud. We warm up with scales and then turn to our new song. I wanted to announce our two percussion soloists for the concert next Friday. It was a tough decision because you are all amazing. But this time, our soloists will be Aji and Ellie. My heart feels like it sinks into my stomach. I wanted a solo so bad. I think Miss Cruz can tell I'm upset because after class she says, Sarai, can I talk to you for a minute? I just nod my head. I'm afraid if I say something I'll cry. I know you were disappointed about a solo, and I would be too, but Ellie and Aji have been practicing more than you lately, so they are the best prepared for next week. But I've been busy trying to save the program. I say, I know, Miss Cruz says, and I understand and appreciate you more than you can imagine. I realize that you've sacrificed lots of hours to help the program, so I thought you'd be the perfect person to introduce our Sparkle Sanchez song. Along with the others, we will be playing. You can be our MC. I would love to be the MC, I say, smiling. I don't need to practice talking. I'm good at that. You're a good drummer too, Sarai, Miss Cruz assures me. It's just hard to do it all. I think about what Miss Cruz says. If the music program gets saved, it will be definitely be worth it, I say. You know what, Sarai? Miss Cruz says. Even if the music program doesn't get saved, I'll think it was all worth it. I agree. But to be honest, I'm still kind of worried. <laughs>